Hey guys, welcome to the Art of Comics. I'm your host, Andres Salazar. Today, we're going to talk about another one of the comic book masters in the Comic Masters series, Wally Wood. Um, and specifically, we're going to talk about canon. So, um, I'm a big fan of Wally Wood. I kind of got introduced to him a few years back. Um, and this book was over at my friend Ariel Celestino's house. Uh, you may remember um, we record the um, heavy metal episodes. And I saw this in his library and I was like, what is this, Wally Wood? And I thumbed through it and I'm like, oh my gosh, I gotta buy this. So I went out and ordered it right away. Um, this book is beautiful. It is produced by Fanographics and uh, it is it retails at 35 which actually isn't bad at all. You can get it slightly cheaper online, but actually not too much cheaper. It's not uh, it's not that cheap, but it's beautiful. I love this. I love this cover and this this book design here. Um, Wally Wood, um, as you may or may not know, is I think the artist artist. A lot of people, you know, revere him. Uh, he worked for all the major companies. DC, Marvel, you know, uh, he did a bunch of uh, eerie, creepy, kind of worked with the Warren Publication books. Uh, he did this. He did strips for the military, and that's what this is. Um, he died, unfortunately, young. Uh, there were some substance abuse issues in his life. But uh, he was a root-tootin' artist who kicked ass, who was a draftsman and just new composition. I always have this page. Um, it's in my binders actually. Let me, uh, where is my sketchbook? So I always have this in my sketchbook, which is, um, and I have a video here on um, 22 panels that always work. And so I put this in my sketchbook just so that I always have it like with me at all times. Um, this, there's an, so I made an episode, uh, on this channel on this spe specific little thing, but he did this. This was, uh, I think it was Larry Hama, who was one of his assistants back in the day or worked with him, compiled this, this actual page. But this is kind of like the mantra that Wally Wood would use. And then his assistants kind of came up with this so that he never like did this particular thing, but... This is the Wally Woods 22 panels that always work, and it kind of goes through a lot of the standard ideas of panel compositions and how if you're getting stuck in a panel on how to design it, go here and find something, right, that works. Um, I love this thing. I use this all the time. You know, big head, extreme close-up, two-shot, side, you know, um, profile, one front, one back, you know, full object, silhouette, like all these different little tricks. Um, and this is awesome. So he was this type of guy who would figure out how to, how to do comics efficiently, quickly, and uh, communicate effectively, right? And time is money, therefore you gotta get the most things in in your limited time to make the most money, right? So the business aspect of creativity, and that's critical, that's important, right? So whenever I see Wally Wood stuff, I'm just, I gravitate towards it, I gotta get it. And so I, I picked this up just recently and I've read it, I'm only about halfway through, but I'm like, we gotta talk about it because it's so dang good. And uh, I totally recommend you guys uh, pick this up because it is brilliant. So let's just kind of go through it a little bit. Um, so the history of this book and this series, this was a comic strip written for military personnel. So this is for the GIs overseas that um, he did this for. And I don't know what kind of periodical they would get, but I'm assuming they would get some sort of periodical uh, which would have news and different things. And there was a comic strip in there. And he was paid to do this. So canon, this like strip, is hard-boiled, tough, mean, military, spy guy 
badass bitches, you know, that kind of a deal. It is, it is, there's, you know, nudity, a lot of violence. This is like your hard, uh, you know, R-rated, tough man kind of thing. Um, but the design, the rendering, uh, it's all black and white, which we're gonna see here in a second. And we're gonna see how he's using zipatones and things like that. And it's just really freaking cool, man. I love it. Uh, and I hope this video turns out well, because I think, I hope you'll get a chance to. Uh, so, a nice picture of him there. He died young, he died in his 30s. Um, a little intro by Mr. Chaikin, won't really go over that, but he says his piece. And uh, now we go into it. So these are the strips that, that would show up in um, these these military kind of uh, overseas weekly, it was called, from, from 1970 to 1973, okay? And um, here we go. And so we start off with our character. I mean, that right there, I mean, we could just talk about that first freaking frame. And then we've got this chick who's um, Madame Toy. We're gonna see her more of her, more of her, and literally and physically <laughs> and uh, figuratively uh, in this book. She's one of the bads, but she's also kind of this sex pot kind of uh, character. So there's torture going on. There's really cool paneling, and you know the, how the lettering is done is kind of neat. Uh, I really like these like. Uh, non-bordered panel things. I always thought that was kind of fun. Um, and yeah, so we get some boobs right off the bat. And uh, we're gonna see, there's gonna be like boobs in almost every page. And um, I think that was just like, hey man, that's how um, that's how we rolled back then. This is what we're doing. But look at the, look at just the drafting. I mean, just from a drafting perspective, look at this guy. Um, black and white using great, Great way to use tones and dimension. That's a beautiful drawing right there. Look at that really cool drawing. And look at these here. These are really great. Um, just again, a really great draftsman as far as just making things just look really cool. And this this shadowing, positioning. Um, you know, in the story, um, you know, this is really great too. Um, just the position of these characters and everything. And uh, the story, you know, talks about the, um, you know, torturing uh, Cannon. And he's basically this uh, agent for the government. And he goes on these different spy missions. And he's, there's these other counterintelligence people like Madame Toy. And there'll be this Russian that we're going to meet in a moment. Uh, and he goes in hostile territory you know, he's like, a, you know, a frogman going in as a Navy SEAL, scuba, all these different little disciplines he knows, military tactics to get into these hostile lands and save people, you know, save a prisoner, a POW, or get some intelligence from somebody. You know, I love this here. It's like, my clothes. <laughs> this is like classic. I love this. Because she's like, oh, we've been saved. Oh, thank God. My clothes. There's no time for that. Come on, we gotta go. <laughs> and the guards, are, guards, what are we gonna do now? Well, your wife is first, you know. And uh, you know, it's just funny how there's these moments like these chicks are like, "Oh, what about my clothes?" I ah, don't worry about that, sweet toots, <laughs> you know. Um, he does repurpose some images, as you'll see. He kind of repurposes that at times, um, and it's just about speed, right? Communicating. Uh, this is really kind of cool idea. This weird little dish they use to kind of breathe water, or breathe air underwater, um, like a, like a bubble apparatus. Um, I love the way he's using screen tones. Um, you know, I love this kind of stuff here too, where this is all screen toned, and then your background is all white like this, um, and even this the texture of the water. You know, uh, it's just. It's just really good. This stuff is classic comics. I mean, this is, um, you know, I guess this would be kind of like right there in between uh, the Bronze Age and Modern Age comics. 
um, kind of bronze agey, but um, it's really well done. All the the um, costuming and everything is great. And the story again, Canon can do no wrong. He's almost like a what is that? What was that character? Reno? Uh, something Reno. He was like a super spy guy. Uh, shoot, I can't remember. But you know, this is. I guess some might say it's a little James Bondy, you know, but um, um, he's basically kicks ass in every way, and uh, no holds barred on him. Look at that; it's a great. I love this. It's a really, really nice frame. I'm assuming that the originals are probably yay big, probably you know, um, this big the originals. So they're probably two up than this, something like that. Um, I could probably look that up actually, but usually they were around like, um, let me think about it, be five by 11 or something like that. So it's, you know, and here we see a little bit of that like Wally Wood classic sci-fi stuff that we would see in his older, his older like sci-fi comic-y stuff, but great modeling on the figures. He definitely knows anatomy. Positioning is great. Great use of screen tones, creating depth, page compositions, a lot of kind of sexiness, and kicking ass. It's killing people with sexy broads, and um, and and not, nothing's wrong with that, you know. As far as uh, for the time, for the audience he is going for, and that's kind of what was going on. This is a great face. I love these little faces. They're just. It's just clean enough, just the right number of line economy. So that's really important. Great establishing shots. I mean, we could just go here and through everything and just kind of see this stuff. And you know, I would say he's probably not using reference for none of the figures. I mean, I don't think he used reference for any of the stuff. I mean, he might have a he might have some models, but I doubt it. I think this is just him drawing, you know? Um, of course, the objects he probably he gets reference for, but but the positioning, the figures, that stuff, he's just he's just freaking drawing this stuff. Um, I think this is a brilliant, brilliant story, brilliant fun. Um, it, it it does read a little bit like a serial, right? So it's not there are um, you know each kind of story goes for maybe eight or so pages, six, eight pages, and then there'll be another kind of story. But they do kind of add upon each other. We'll see more, we'll see characters kind of come back again. You know, in this one, he meets this, um, you know, double agent Russian girl who um, he kind of escapes with, and then she's going to wind up betraying him. But he's so badass, he'll get, he's like, he cuts himself. He's like, break my nose. I want you to break my nose with this stick so that I look different and shave my head. So now he's this shaven headed, you know, broken nose scar dude. And he's like, this is what we're gonna do to get me out of here. And then when I get back home to the States, you know, they'll use some plastic surgery and put my face back. So he's just like this tough freaking dude, uh, which is pretty fun to kind of read about. We don't usually get those kind of characters nowadays. Um, so it's kind of fun. That's great here too. This like, this, this car getting hit by the tree. Uh, I'm, I don't know if he did all his words. I think he did, but he could have had someone do that. I'm not sure. It doesn't it doesn't mention it in the book. Um, these are great little action stuff. So it's, I mean, I bought this for the story and the fun the art, but also um, this is a great just like reference guide and kind of like getting more of those, you know, the 22 panels that always work. This is even more of that. So you could go through this, you know, and look at kind of like, okay, what is working here? Here's a here's an idea of a panel where you have a silhouette and a close up, right? Putting those two together. Or here's one of, you know, foreground, profile, main figure there, and all these kind of things. You can kind of like look at this and find more panel ideas, how to like communicate well. These are great here. This whole thing is cool. Yeah, this is a story now. He's going to go into the South America. And Madam Toy's back. She's going to go into South America as well and work with this, like, uh, Fidel Castro type of character who's who potentially might have a uh, atom bomb, you know? 
So it's got that kind of Cold War, you know, spy killing type stuff, um, which I dig. And again, there's, yeah, there's a lot of uh, cheesecake in here as well. He really was good at these planes and stuff. He's got the like Russ Heath style, kind of like got that down, which is pretty fun. Um, so yeah, this is um, this is the comic. Now it might not be for everybody, but I think he is a he's considered a comic book master. I'm gonna put him in that world. Uh, look, that's great. And this is, I think, one of his best stuff. We're gonna do more of Wally Wood as we come down the pipe, and um, so we're gonna go in. Look at that, that's great too. Yeah, he doesn't usually do a lot of cross hatching there, but that looks great. Um, he, we're gonna talk more about him, and we're gonna talk more about these books. And that's great too. That's good. So this is a really cool trench coat little image. So I need to finish reading this, actually. This reminds me. I just got to keep getting on this. And notice now his panels are changing slightly. He's kind of going bigger here later on. He's getting big. Before, if you remember, you know, this is all these two two level strips. Now we're kind of breaking that into these larger things. So I'm assuming this whole piece would be a strip, right? And we're, we're all kind of, kind of seeing that here. Yeah, they're all like that. Um, yeah, all of them. Maybe it's just this one particular story. Oh, look at that Porsche right there. Isn't that great? Yeah. Um, great stuff. This is canon. I got to keep reading this. I'm going to read this more of this tomorrow because it's just fun and I learn a lot from it. So there you go. Fanographics, canon, Wally Wood. I, could, I think he's one of the best out there. I think people who are in the business would agree. And this shows some of his uh, best stuff. So there you go. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Next week, I'm going to KetsuCon in Washington, D.C. for three days. And then I'm going to Little Rock, Arkansas. I'm driving from California to Little Rock, Arkansas. It's going to be a week-long adventure. I'm doing research for my new comic book about trailer parks in Arkansas and that kind of trailer park life of the 80s, 1980s. And so I'm doing a lot of research down there. I will be videotaping. I'm going to be recording stuff. So I'll be talking to you guys on the road. But I have some more episodes that I'm kind of recorded already that we'll be sharing. So I uh, hope you enjoy my, my stuff. Please subscribe so you can be aware of all my new stuff coming out. And I, these come out twice a week on Tuesday and Saturday. So thanks so much. Check out my Patreon for more of my comics. Appreciate it.